All right, so I got some Q-tips and 70% isopropyl alcohol, and I'm gonna clean off the surface of the processor. Don't do that over your computer. <laughs> Granted, it's alcohol and it'll dry out. Also have to clean off the base of the cooler. The reveal. Alright, so now we're going to apply the thermal face. I need to get a close for this one. Yeah. You only want to apply like a, a size of rice amount, or uncooked rice, as they say. Let's see if I can... Is that like rice? <laughs> Almost. That's a big piece. And hopefully that's enough, not too much. Um, we'll find out once you look at the temps. So here we have a four pin PWM connector. And right under the mount for the cooler is a four pin connector. So I don't think that's enough thermal paste. Didn't they say a rice size? Isn't that rice size? Yes. Do oh. you know how tiny rice is? Right, so we just place the uh, we're gonna place the place the bracket inside the uh, cooler on top of the cooler, and those just sit in through uh, two notches. Now that's in. I'm just gonna set this down right on top. I also have to plug in this before I set this down, so. or set it down then plug it in. I have to take the fan off first. Yeah, I do. Alright. There we go. So now we just set this down on top. And we have our two nuts right here. Let's screw it down into place. Uh, and do the other side. Wow, that's... Just gonna hand tighten them a little bit. Now you want to screw them down equally, like screw this down a little bit, oh. Screw one side down a little bit, then go back and do the other and back and forth, back and forth. You want it to be screwed down equally. That way one side isn't all the way in down and the other is still up. You don't want to over tighten your screws either. I don't want to over tighten my screws. Is it supposed to screw down all the way or what? I don't want it to be too tight. I don't know if you're supposed to screw them down till they don't go any further or what. I'm scared. Let me just tighten this one down a little bit more. 
How was it in your last computer? I never made it this far because it cracked. A crack. Motherboard. Alright, it's tightening up on me now, so I guess I should just give it a few. Yeah, there we go. Alright, it's tightened down all the way. Just give it a little little snug. Alright, that's good. So now I'm gonna reinstall the fan. I routed the the cables through the uh fan connect. I don't even know what these are called. The, the clips for the fan so that it wouldn't be too long. Now it's like the perfect length so that it connects into the motherboard. Uh, yeah. I'm going to plug this in first. Then I'm, I'm going to put the extra fan clip back on. All right, the fan has been plugged in. Now we grab our, our clip bracket. I think these are called brackets. There we go. Okay. All right, we'll just mount one side on like that. Then we'll put this one up. Wait. Low storage. Oh, really? Mm. I need a SD card. Still recording, though. So I have to, to do. I want the cord wrapped around it like this side is. So it's wrapped around. I want the other side like that. But it's gonna be hard to plug it in. But my RAM barely fits with the, the cooler, so that's it's not bad. Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try to move the cable and adjust it. It's in place, right? What? This? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. So now the fan's all the way in. Processor's installed. RAM's installed. We have our graphics card right here. We have our power supply. All three hard drives are plugged in. 24-pin connectors plugged in. And our 8-pin connector for the power to the CPU, that's also plugged in. We have our Blu-ray drive plugged in as well. And our front panel connectors. So that's that includes the USB 3.0, USB 2.0, power switch, power LED negative and positive, and the hard drive activity LED. So now we're going to hook this up to my monitor and see if it turns on. 